Welcome, Gemini's. Wow. <laughs> Let's get it on. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Okay, honey. All right. I'm getting it. I do understand it. Passion. Okay, so Gemini's, this is wonderful. This is uh, the month of love. It is Valentine's Day. So, wow. Mmm, Gemini's. Woo! All right, Gemini's, we are recognizing what is happening, what is transpiring, and we need to understand where we are, what we're doing, and uh, what is transpiring. So, Gemini's, um, this is going to be a real wonderful month of love. I recognize that a lot of you are going to be dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. Whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, there's just an a end that is coming up for this person. Um, because th this, they're recognizing what this person have done and how this person have created a whole lot of issues. And they're really recognizing and seeing this person for who they are and how they have complicated something totally. Um, a lot of you same sex people, um, what is transpiring is that a lot of you are not recognizing that someone is really in love with you same sex people. And the energy of uh, this uh, month is, uh, um, you know, not seeing clearly that there is love around you and that someone is offering you love and someone is showing you love, but you're not seeing it. So same-sex people is a situation that you need to recognize that whoever you're connected with is really in flow of love with you, but you're not seeing this and you're not recognizing it. Okay, so you got to open your eyes because love is around you. And it has always been so in time and time again, where is strip replay itself, where there is love, but yet still you're not focusing, you're not recognizing, you're not understanding. And the love is right in front of some of your faces and you're not seeing how much love is being shown to you and you're not recognizing this, so you can't appreciate in this. I see this uh, Valentine's, you guys are going to be really having the passion going you guys are going to be so alert and so feeling the passion as you move forward um in order um to recognize hey um you know i wasn't seeing this for so long the passion was here for so long and i wasn't even recognizing this so people are now going to be understanding that, you know, they have been looking for love for a very long time. A lot of you have been really, you know, looking for real true love for a very long time. And it's recognizing that love was there. But it's as if your eyes wasn't open. And it's as if this uh, a month, your eyes are going to be open. Finally, 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 your eyes are going to be open. A lot of you who are in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius man, I see you're going to be ending this marriage, this relationship. You are going to be ending this marriage and this relationship because you recognize that there is no future with this man. And this man have been dragging, pulling his foot, dragging, having you on a string for a very, very long time. Um, they're now recognizing um some um that there was some sort of a um affair going on a relationship affair and things are now um opening up people are now recognizing it's as if some of you women and women whenever you feel that something is off about your husband you're always right do not let them pull oh no baby i just need to work oh oh no baby it's just things at work oh no baby no nope. There's another person to spell. Uh, 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 uh. When a man wants you, he wants you. He's focused on you. A man is like a lion that hunts for his food. So when a man is uh, 
um, not showing you any attention and there is no um, attention and this man is off. Nope, his mind, his head, his brain is somewhere else. So don't let men fool you there. Oh, baby, it's just work and the rest of it. I would, I, I would basically say, okay, just stay with your work. Be married to your work. Be in a relationship with your work, okay? Because people need to know that relationship needs to grow and balance as you become intimate. So I see a lot of you as some sort of a judgment call. Something is coming out that is going to let a lot of you recognize that your partner has not been honest. There is has been other things, okay? Um, and, um, a lot of men, um, who have financial issues, um, if you have a relationship and you're going to be thinking about financial issues, thinking about the problems, thinking about the situation that is going on, it doesn't really make any sense. Doesn't make, doesn't really make any sense. So you have to recognize when people are like giving you the cold shoulders and that sort of a thing. There's always someone else in the play. And people must now understand and recognize. So, okay. So who is going to be affected in um, this month? We have the um, a Leo men, the Aries men, whoever is in a relationship with a Leo man, a Aries man. Um, I see some sort of a um, cycle is not yet over this person. Okay, same sex people. Or in a same-sex relationship with Aries and Leo, a cycle is still not yet over. People are seeing what is transpiring. Um, a lot of you are going to be, you know, you Geminis are really on top of your game. You Geminis are recognizing what it is, what you want. You Geminis are now releasing yourself from some sort of a controlling situation and is just recognizing I know what I want and I know what I'm going to go off there. There is going to be some sort of an information that is going to be coming out and you Geminis are going to be so happy that this information has come out because you Geminis recognize uh, I wanted to get out of this relationship anyway. Finally, I am being re released out of this relationship. So um, it is going to be good for you, Geminis, because whatever is transpiring and is happening, you're recognizing that, uh, you know, you have been looking forward to get out of a relationship because a relationship has been really toxic, terribly. It was getting very unhealthy. Some of you felt as if this relationship, uh, you needed to save yourself from this uh, person, this other person. And um, now you are standing your ground in this month and it's just so powerful because you stand your ground and as you recognize what is going to be transpiring is that you're going to be pulling, um, pulling the card now. You're going to be releasing yourself from this person because you're in the reverse and you're seeing the truth by looking the, um, you know, going and doing some sort of a yoga or so. You are recognizing because you're standing strong there and you're looking down and now you're finally, by going in the reverse, you're finally looking up and who's recognizing. So remember, the eight of swords is that you're not seeing a situation clearly. And finally, a Gemini have reversed this um, situation and has been now looking the other way and now they're finally seeing clearly. So if you recognize, you Gemini's was not seeing a relationship, a person, a situation. And uh, now is something out of uh, the blues happen and you were like in, uh, oh my God, in our moment. And when you start looking deeper, investigating and looking deeper, you're now seeing the truth. The truth is now here. How someone has bonded you, controlled you and keep you in bondage. Now you're understanding um, you know, I was not attracted to this person. I was never attracted to this person. How comes? And now something happened and people are now recognizing and seeing how you were bonded. Look at how this person had, you know, tie you up in order to keep you on the, um, their powers. And now you're now awake. You're now awake. You're no longer controlled. You are now awake. You are no longer controlled. You are recognizing the real horrible play that a person has created. And now you're recognizing Jesus. Oh my gosh, this person had 
control me. I wasn't even recognizing. I wasn't even myself. Oh my God, what happened? How comes I wasn't seeing Claire? What, 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 you know, how comes I miss? It's as if you're going to be waking out of, out of some sort of a bad dream and recognizing that someone had control you in a relationship for a very long time. A lot of you, um, Geminis are going to be recognizing, oh my God, oh my God, thank you, thank you. You know, whoever released me out of this, thank you, thank you, because I was not seen clearly. So, um, Geminis, this is going to be a time when you, your eyes are going to be open. I think the universe recognizes how someone has pulled the lid over your eyes. Your eyes is now going to be over because um, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring has pulled a lid over your eyes, a Gemini's for a very, very long time and has had you in some sort of a controlling position where they have banned you down. It's like some of you is going to be, um, you know, recognize that, hey, um, something is not good. Um, whatever is happening and transpiring, um, there is some sort of a situation that is transpiring. Something is good. And like some of you said, hey, you could be listening to some sort of a program. Something came up in the feed. You start to watch it and then you recognize, hey, I'm going to go and ask a psychic. I'm going to go to someone and ask them what is going on. So you took the on mundane world and you go to someone, you go to some psychic because you go to someone and they start to reveal how someone have tied you up in a relationship, love spell, love magic, whatever they did. And I see they are going to be blowing the trumpet, breaking you out of this and you are going to be finding love again. So be open, ladies and gentlemen, to find love again because um, love is here for you. There is no question. Love is here for you. And I see this time you're going to be hitting the jackpot. The passion is high. Allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy because uh, from the horrible relationship that you have been in, you are going to be released. You're going to be freed and released uh, from the bondage that someone has kept you in. Okay, so this is a situation where some of you, your crown chakras could just open. Uh, it's a situation where your crown chakras could have just opened up. And with your crown chakras open up, you're seeing the truth. You're seeing the light. The light is coming through. You're recognizing what was happening, what was transpiring, and recognizing the sole reason why you were in a relationship and you were seeing someone is because this person had trapped you. And now is the time that you are really um, seeing the light. You know, sometimes it comes in different way. You're guiding angels. And this is why I say, ladies and gentlemen, each and every one of us have a guiding angel. You have to recognize and accept the fact that you do have a guiding angel because some of you, a guiding angel is the one and the protective angels is the one that is going to be releasing you out of some sort of a bondage relationship where some of you were bonded by love spell or love magic and, you know, have lost who you are as a true human being. And now you're going to be released out of this relationship. And as you are released, you're going to be finding true love. A lot of you could be opening up to spirituality. Your, your crown chakra is opening up and you're recognizing and um, whoever is having some sort of a passionate relationship, go for it. Go for it, baby girl and boy. It is the right person, okay? The passion is not only passion, there's also love. Love and passion in a relationship is a relationship that you need to keep and you need to work on, okay? Because love and passion is two things. It is the main two ingredients um, that you need, love and passion. Then we have um, respect and loyalty to each other. And that is what we need, communication. So once the love and passion is on key, you can work on the rest because that is what is going to be taking you through. So congratulations. Have a wonderful Valentine's. 
I am going to be moving forward. If you'd like to follow us on the other side, you are welcome. If not, I will speak to you next time.